Yo guys, so welcome back to another YouTube video. So in my last video, I showed you how to rig your low poly characters, and now you need to know how to weight paint them. Enjoy the video. Okay guys, I just want to let you know that I do some Blender and uh, other games on, side, on Twitch. Link down below. Uh, that's an interesting. Yep. Okay. So first off, what we're gonna do is the easiest way to start off weight painting. You just select the character, select the armature, control P, and click automatic weights. And then here you go to vertex groups and you can see all of them over here. Okay. So what happens is actually we don't actually need two tabs at no one We can go into weight paint mode and then um what we also need to do is go into edit mode, select select these bones and change I uh, go to bone properties and tick untick the form and then also do the same thing with the pole targets um, because all of these don't actually affect char the character so we go back to edit mode go to vertex properties like pole target we can delete that like rk we can delete that Pull target, delete that. Control, delete that. Okay, delete that. Control, we delete that. Okay, so that's the six bones. So now we've deleted those. Let's go to weight paint mode. <coughs> now as you can see, we've, we've selected uh, toe.r. And here, you can see this doesn't really work that well because it doesn't select the whole toe. So let's actually take this uh, armature off in front so we can just do the weight paint itself and then you also have well let's also make a second outliner well not outliner properties and change to the tool properties so we can have both the uh, all the vertex groups and the paint brushes over here okay so we have draw this will add uh, influence so then we can also change the weight and there so the weight it will only make it to one specific um influence so like 0.5 oh well, yeah so it's 0 0.54 5, 9. everything is going to do that whereas if you have your weight on full and your strength are low it will start out just adding little bits of it but eventually if you carry on doing it it will work up to one so that's how you can do it so if you just want to paint everything in 0.5 and you set your weight to 0.5 if you want to just add slowly then you can go with weight of one and a strength of like 0.2 or something okay so that's the toe and we have the foot so then you can see the foot bone is over here so we can go add see we need we need to add some weight paint to the heel Okay. Because uh, I'm pretty sure uh, the RK bone may have set up, but whatever. Um, yeah, we draw over here. Okay, so what you're going to have to do is just pose it. Um, actually what we're going to do is just redo it now that we've had all the things done. Okay, so we can do the same thing. Go back to the feet. Yeah, okay, it's a bit better than the original RK. Um, or oh, the first weight paint. Uh, the foot's not great still, so let's carry on painting there. The heel actually has some influence on it. So you won't get any weird deformation and stuff. Um, what I was saying before is you can just pose the feet so that you kind of know how the rig works. I mean, how it's going to look. And then you can change it while... Um, while it's in pose. It's like in the pose. Okay. So like stuff like this, you need to fix this 
kind of bending. Okay. So. So then we go to two. Toes were fun. Put. What we should do is go to subtract and then. No, that's not right. Um, strength, take it all the way down. Uh, draw. So then, there, so there, actually drawing and not drawing doesn't make that much difference, whatever, um, and then we can go to shin.r, okay, and then, let's see, what you should do is remove like the back, hey, will that help? No, that doesn't help. Okay, that's fun. And then you go to the far. That looks a bit better. Okay. The deformations aren't the best, but. And then we can go draw. Just add a little bit. Okay, that looks nice. So we can go back to troll here and then add there. Okay, and then we can go back to shin.r, I mean l, and then do the same thing. Or work on the thar. So then we go to subtract. Okay, so like that. And then we can go back to draw and then add a little bit back in. Okay. And then draw here. Take the strength all the way down. Okay. So now we're going to work on the hands. Um, another thing that you're going to do is just the left. They can just be like there, um, space, vert vertices, and then be a stun one, and you can see it does that. And then you go up a thumb, and then uh, a stun one. So that's another th way how you can weight paint. And then, same thing. A sun, a sun, select these, a sun, select these, and a sun. And then you can go to weight painting and see there's all of them like that. Cool. So, there we go to hand, and then Select all these faces. Okay, and sun. Go away paint. And then we can subtract strength is low. So just take it off slightly so it isn't completely affecting everything. Okay, that's good. And then we can go up to form.r. Okay, troll. Oh, let's try, we go to rig. Oh, let's also test out the hand. So we rotate. Uh, as you can see, that's affecting the body. So we need to go to form, weight paint, and go subtract and remove that. And that's multiply, subtract. So there, 
and yeah and let's check the upper arm as you can see it does affect the body it shouldn't happen um or not to that degree and then select the bones okay and then rotate the hand okay that looks fun rotating the fingers uh we can just take a local and rotate yeah that looks fun cool so then we can work on here with the shoulders or yeah it's a weight paint and then up arm and then we can draw and subtract looks better because that would be like the lat muscle cool and then shoulder go draw uh -huh. uh, we rotate it that actually looks completely fun cool we'll go back to mesh and that's head so let's see if the head deformations are fun. So we go rotate. That's fun. Uh, neck. That is not fun. We need to move from here. Uh, so we go back to object properties, neck, and then subtract from here. Okay. And then we go to shoulder.r, we go up, like lower thumb.l. Now we're doing the same thing. So that's lower thumb. So we select here, go to vertices, sun, the sun. We'll just skip through all of this. Okay, so now that we've done the left arm, we can go and start. Let's just save quickly. Let's go and start on the. Uh, looks fun so first off we have the chest which is the top so up here so let's go into pose mode rotate rotate um and then when we've done this that is fun Visual sponge should affect all of that, yeah. Um, wait, no, yeah. That should be pelvis. Pelvis. Yeah, English. Pelvis. Caps lock is on pelvis. Okay. Deformations look fun over here. It's so alt R and then and then we can go to yeah. Uh, 
Okay, cool. So go back to the pose mode, Alt R, and that should be our whole rig. So yeah, we can actually this tummy here. Let's add a little bit of strength lower down. It's a slot. Because if you rotate, yeah, that looks better. That's uh, let's remove this one vertex over here. Uh, from ribcage the size of fun but then we need to remove this middle one so now we rotate it actually looks like a ribcage yeah that looks good okay cool so yeah that concludes the video yeah so i hope you enjoyed that video on how to uh wait paint your low poly characters with your rigs and uh yeah if you enjoyed the video make sure to like subscribe and go check out my this my twitch stream down below where i do some crunker and blender yeah have a good day cheers